there is no verse or a hadith Prophet Muhammad said go enslave people. In Islam there is something which is called servitude or called rak. Rak means the war booty. When these people wage a war against you, then in Islam you have legislation in place for them. One of them, either you let them go free, okay, or you exchange them with the other prisoners, or you take them as a servant that serve okay, you. Okay. okay? okay. Why, 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 why? That's, that's the small part where I disagree yeah. with James. No, because, cap you know, war yeah. captives, yeah. soldiers that are captured in war, yeah. are different from slaves. They were usually captured to have a ransom. Yeah. That's what knights no, had. It, it, even and that's what they had, you know, for God, example, sorry. when Saladin fought against Richard the Lionhearted. Yeah. There was one time that, Sa that uh, you know, Richard had a bunch of uh, captives. Yeah. And uh, Saladin was stalling for time because he wanted to achieve some kind of uh, new advantage. And Richard killed the captives. Yeah. That's uh, one of the examples. Or, you know, sometimes the Muslims had captives and they... Uh, and Saladin let them, them go free. Them back. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, it depends on the, on the situation. The situation, without any but doubt. it's different from slaves. I do agree with you. Without, no, no, but even, even, because I have to be just wrong, sometimes in a war, what used to happen, when someone is coming to wage a war against a Muslim, he's bringing his family with them. So the Muslim, they will, because those soldiers, some of them get killed. So the, the, the wife or the mothers or the children, they have no one there. So the Muslim, they take them and they take them as a war booty. However, they take care of them. They treat them nice. Why is that? Why one of the reasons? One of the reasons for anyone who's that is scared and frightened, for, uh, um, scared people away, anyone that tried to wage and come with the army and his family and get the Muslim. Because if you go the minute, if I take my family and I fight against the Muslim, that's what's going to happen to me. So I should not fight against them. Mm. So there is many wisdom behind it. And one of them is what? When you take them, you make sure you teach about Islam, you take care of them, and you look after them without any doubt. So he is trying to... I'm not, I, I don't disagree with you about some Muslims that do something, something evil. But what I disagree with James, that he tried to mix and overflow uh, a slavery, European one, with the Islamic one. Understand? It's not the same at all. It's not. In Islam, Prophet Muhammad said. What's the big difference? I tell you what's the big difference. The European slavery, they used to go enslave free people. They used to go enslave them and, and touch. No, I'm not talking about Islam now. I'm not talking about Arabs. Bro. Yeah, I'm talking about Arabs. No, no, no. I, I said I'm Arabs, not here different. I I'm, not, I'm not here different Arabs. I agree with some Arabs do something okay. evil. No, Arabs are doing it. Look, look, look. So you're saying, me out, me out, okay, wait, 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 wait. The colonial what? powers in Europe enslaved all those people before, because of Christianity. Is that what you're saying? Because of Christianity. Yeah, because you don't want to say Europeans or Arabs. You want to say Muslims. Because I said Arabs and you corrected me. You told me no, not the Arabs. No, because I would say in Christianity, they, in the Bible, it, it, they encourage you to enslave people. Indeed, there is a passage of the Catholic Bible, you know, uh, not the Orthodox one. The, don't touch your neighbor's slave or whatever. It's part of the Ten Commandments. No, I know. Jesus said in the New Testament that if you're a slave of someone, stay a slave until I come back. No, I mean the Ten Commandments of the Catholics. That's why I know. There's one of the commandments that says don't, don't touch your neighbor's slave or whatever. Something like that. No, my Actually, point, here, no, my point here is, I'm not talking about Christianity, to be honest. I'm, I, what I was so talking what about. exactly are you talking about? I'm the talking... Europeans and the Arabs. Is that no, 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 no. When I was talking to James, okay. he tried to say Islamic servitude is the same as European slavery. Okay. So he tried to say Islam. If he says some Muslims, I'm not going to justify every Muslim's action. Of course, without any doubt, some Muslims out there that are there evil. There are many similarities between the two. For between example, what? Europeans could not enslave other Christians. And Muslims could not enslave other Muslims. No, that's that, why, listen, and that's the example I want to give. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. Wait, 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 let me finish the example. Okay. When the Portuguese, yeah. in, uh, you know, uh, they started their colonial empire, they were actually the first colonial empire, in case somebody doesn't know. Uh, they enslaved some of the uh, blacks in Africa, right? You're right, They started yeah. trading them. Yeah. Correct. When they came to Brazil, yeah. they wanted to enslave the natives. Yeah. And the priests converted a large amount of those natives before they could be enslaved, so they would not be enslaved because they knew what would happen to them. It would be the same thing as happening. So you tell me, when European so came to Africa, whole Africa, there was no in Africa Christian. There were there weren't too many Christians in. Africa. No, I didn't ask you if there are too many or not. No. Are you saying okay. when the Europeans came to Africa, there was not even one nation? It was Christian nation. No, there were Christian nations in Africa, but and they did were Christians not the main. The they were them. not. They were not. Uh, the where did they come from? You know, they were not from here. They were yeah. not the victims from of slavery. I know the kingdom of Makuria, which is uh, you know south of Egypt. Yeah. The, it was uh, you know it was a Christian kingdom, and they actually you know they beat back the initial Arabic invasion, and eventually they uh, kept being Christians. They were Coptic Christians, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, let's not talk about that. So what are we talking about? We were talking confused. about the comparison between the Arabic slave trade and the European slave trade. No, I, I want to tell you that it's not that different. The two are not. No, 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 no. Listen carefully. 
And now, when you say Arabic, as I've mentioned, I'm not here to defend what every Arab did or what every Muslim did. Good. I'm here to defend Islam. Okay. Because I said to him, Prophet Muhammad clearly said in the Hadith, he said, Allah will be an opponent of someone who goes and enslave free people. Meaning you go to Africa or you come to Europe, someone just walk in, you kidnap him and he say, my slave. Because you have to know that some people are doing it in Africa. And the scholars won't against that because there's a clear hadith. And what I was talking about, that the servitude in Islam, the reason, and Islam never started this anyway. It was there already. But oh, Islam, it was Islam, there long ago. Yeah, long ago, yeah. And I think you said the, 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 the Egyptians started it last time. I'm not sure if the Egyptians started it, but, but they were said. one of the main, you know, one of the I think first I, in a way I agree with you. The big, uh, I think in a way I agree with you. The Egyptians, I would say that. Yeah, yeah. I, think I agree with you in a way. I I'm think, not, the, I think yeah. the Chinese or the, um, you know, the Mesopotamians had slavery. At least I don't think so. I think they had like servants or something. Yeah, like that's, that. what, that's what I'm talking about. In Islam, there's something called it a servant. Exactly slave. Yeah, it called a servant. And Islam, those servants who we take them in a war booty, they have many ways for them, for us to enslave, to, to free them. One of the ways that Prophet Muhammad SAW said, in order for you to enter paradise, one of the, 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 the path to enter paradise, to free a servant. Likewise, if imagine I say, Wallahi, I swear by Allah, tomorrow I'm going to fast. And I don't fast. So one of the options for me to uh, uh, expiate the, uh, an oath, I have to free a servant. You understand? So there was many, many routes to free those servants who we took them because there was a war. Not because Prophet Muhammad SAW said, Abu Bakr, Omar, let us go to Yemen. Let us go to Europe and just take, kidnap people and enslave them. That's why I challenge anyone to bring me one hadith, authentic hadith, or one verse says go and take people as a servant or slaves. There's no, no that, that's Islam didn't come for that. That's no, that's what our argument. That's but you talk about Arabs either. doing evil, I don't agree with you. I'm talking about Arabic empires and Islamic empires enslaving other peoples. That's what I, wait, 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 I, I, I agree, agree with you. Let me just finish this one. Uh, listen, even though it, uh, it does state in the Bible about slavery, there are parts that speak about it. I'm not blaming Islam necessarily for saying, okay, you can go and enslave everyone. What I'm saying is, the, the Islamic countries did not have any opposition against the slavery that they were committing. In fact, it was well accepted inside their culture. I'm not talking about, I don't want to delve into what's written in the Bible, what's written in the Quran. That's which not my which one are you talking about? History is what I'm talking I, about. I understand that, but what you and, happened, what actually happened was you that and I many Islamic not, empires committed slavery, which was not better than the European Osman slavery. Osman Empire, I believe they did something wrong as well, without any doubt. But you cannot compare the European one. What, what, anyway, forget. Why what? not? Uh, bro, the, uh, if because you, the Europeans if you have, were more successful in their state. No, no, they were successful. They started it first. They initiated it. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. First. They did it. No, they they did. did it. That's why when I tell you, give me an example that where a nation focused on people's skin color and they. I, I think I have to study about European slavery more because I never studied about it. When I did study about it, it was. Uh, to be honest, it's very, very disgusting. Bro, very, very many disgusting. Of the many it was of the a law to the country. Were sold to them by Arab merchants. Yeah, uh, even by, uh, forget about the Arabs one. I'm talking about the one you go into Africa, setting up a fires in villages bro, just for the people to run away and a enslave very them. Common way of taking slaves. Bro, I think you have to say the article. Let me say this article. I studied. Not have a lot of manpower. The Portuguese. Look about Islam. Let's just talk about Arabs. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. Okay, if you talk about Arabs, then I believe the Arabs. I am talking about the Arabs and the. Arab I agree with you. Then the Arabic culture is very much linked to Islam. No, Arabic culture is not. It's matter what's written in the Bible. Arabic culture is not. Matter is what Muslims and Christians did throughout history. Arabic culture That's is what not. what actually matters. Where is Arabic culture? Go on. What is Arabic yeah, culture? It's the culture that started in Arabia, that was expanded with the Muslim invasions, with the Arabic expansions into the Middle East. So before Islam, so Islam and the Arabic culture are very much linked together. Just like Europeans Just come down, are linked step by step, 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 step. Can you give me an example where the Arabs, before Islam came to them, they were going to African instead of Africans? Before Islam, yeah. the Arabs did not have that power. They were very much fragmented. No, 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 no. no. They, did, they, did have, they did have servants in, the, in Mecca. Like Bilal was a servant. Yeah, okay, but it's very yeah. hard to but so, 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 it's so very hard to talk there was about no Arabic it because There was no Arabic culture anyway, because you say it is an Arabic culture to enslave. That's not Arabic culture to no, begin with. No, I said with. that Arabic culture is very much linked to Islam. Because Arabic I culture understand. didn't remain exactly the same as it was before Islam. Islam changed their culture and their yeah, culture right. has been changing yeah, throughout right. history. You're right. Yeah, you're right. And what I'm saying is that eventually those changes plus the, you know, the, uh, the success that the Arabic expansions had created the Arabic slave trade, which was also linked with Islam. For example, give me one example. 
example, one example of Arabic slave trade. Yeah. Dude, I can give you many examples. I just give me one, I said. I okay, give me one example. Let's talk about the Somalians. The Somalians, you know, fair enough, they actually have a good point. I, I thought that the Somalians didn't have a point, but they do have a point. That they are have a very different genetic makeup than other Africans. It is true, they are quite different from other Africans. Yeah. But the thing is, the Somalians did not suffer, gr at least greatly, from a slave trade. In fact, they were Muslims and they were selling other Africans into slavery to other Arabs and Would eventually you, to... No, ask him a question. Oh, sorry, question. You, uh, one example, you wanted one example. Of yeah, you're, talk, you're talking about, in, uh, uh, again, it's about individuals here. You're not talking about... Uh, What's the example you want? Okay. I'm talking about an Islamic Reform. empire that which Muslim look up to. An, that an they, Islamic empire that was Muslims their main target to. is to enslave people. Give me an example of that. Okay, the, uh, the Egyptian Mamlukat. The, so the, the Egyptian the Mamlukat of Egypt. The, so the, the, the Mamalik, their main target was to go around and enslave people. That was not the main target, but listen, the main target He's of the He's not listening, Europeans. so what are you mentioning then? You said, okay, wait, you, you mean that's that the main saying. target uh, of the uh, Europeans, the only target that, 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 was only to get slaves. That was, that was a business, a big, you know, you know, that was their main business, to go to okay. Africa and enslave them. Okay. It was a big business. Yeah, it was a big business. That's what I'm saying, so that. there was no Islamic empire did that. That's my point. Dude. Most of you have to go the, the, the lot of just troops in the Ottoman Empire and in the Mamluk okay, region were composed by slaves. They could not have their army without their slaves. They were composed you know by slaves I mean? because the Ottomans took the slaves, the people that took, when they took over a country, they took those kids and those people that were left over from their, their fathers died from war, took them to Istanbul, yeah, that's what is enrolled them into the universities and they, they became the future governors of the countries around this an empire. You see, who can treat someone like that? Europe. Yeah, that yeah. happened in Europe. Yeah, but it didn't Even now, the like black that. people... Anyway, let, let me just clarify something. Listen, Listen, many of the slaves... One thing, I want to clarify something. I'm not blaming... In, 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 no, let me ask you. I want to just clarify. I want to conclude this, yeah? I want to clarify because many cameras. When I was speaking to James, or we were speaking about slavery, we're not blaming no one here now. I don't blame no British man or an English man or an Irish man or a French man because of something happened in the past. Because Allah told us in the Quran clearly, لا تزير وزيرة وزيرة أخرى. A person should not be uh, uh, responsible for a sin that was committed by someone else. But the reason I was talking to James because James, one of his main targets to come to speak his corner to give bad image about Islam, about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's why I was showing him that don't you ever dare you to try to compare what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions did to European slavery. That was my main point. Okay. okay. So I, I agree with you without any doubt. There were some people, Muslims and Arabs did something evil and did enslave people wrongly without any doubt. And it's vice versa for the other nations. So I will agree. Me and you will agree except that what we're talking about, there was no Islamic empire, their main target and business to go and enslave Africans. None of them did that. Oh, All right. None of that. So All right. Khalas. All right, take care, man. What's your name again? Okay, what do you think now about me? Huh? <laughs> I, st I still, still don't agree with you about saying well, that it was, you know, way, completely different Listen, how the Europeans enslaved. Everything. You know, Kadhafi, what he said? Huh? He said we have to agree to disagree. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Take care, man. Just gonna open one. Uh, that one. Uh, sorry, you know, listen, listen. Sir, who's you know, is this Sam? Yeah. 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 Thank you.